demo reel. Uh, I will go back to the beginning. Here was my first concept that I decided to sculpt. I'll start right there. It is from Ditto Cavalcante. Uh, the name of this piece is Hadu the Gongred. Probably not saying that right. I thought that this concept was interesting and I wanted the challenge of creating chain mail. I figured that learning how to do that would probably come in handy in the future. I also thought it was pretty neat that the artist was colorblind and his painting was really good. Um, the shading was interesting because it's very similar colors. Here, lots of like dark reds and stuff and I thought that was really crazy that he was able to do that. My dad was also colorblind so and a really good artist. <laughs> um, this model it reminds me of something that you would see in like a fantasy type RPG game or something. Um, I know that's not exactly what my degree is in, but I feel like this style of character works for it. I did end up running into some problems with her chainmail in the render. I couldn't figure that out. As you can see here, she has chainmail on. Um, and yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get that from ZBrush to Maya and to render it, so. Um, I think if I redid this sculpt, it would come out like 10 times better, but I'm really happy with how she ended up um, in the first place. Um, I think this showcases the beginning of my journey as a modeler. It's not the best, but it shows that I'm capable of accepting a challenge and work and able to work my way through it. I really like how she looks textured too. I feel like that helped a lot with the with the way she looks. She looks a lot better. Um the next piece that I have was by Tatsiana Pavlovskaya. I'm probably butchering that too. Um, I chose this asset because I wanted to focus on sculpting anatomy. I feel like I got closer on this one, but I did end up taking a few steps back. I did struggle getting the anatomy correct, and it kind of set me back. Um, but I still think that she came out really decent. I like the style. I like her hair. Um, I did not model her hat though. She has a hat in her photo there. I feel like that's a big part of her and I really wish I could have had time to sculpt that in there. Um, this is a model that I feel like could be 3D printed as like a little collector's figurine. That's something I've been super interested in to getting into and learning is 3D printing. I want to come up with my own designs and open up an online store eventually. I feel like with more work this asset could be really great. I'm not finished with her yet and I'm still thinking about this hat. Uh, I think I could have done better with her face anatomy. I was just not too... Uh, let's see, not too comfortable, I guess, or too aware of the face planes, so I feel like it could have done better with that. Um, moving on. My final character, this is from Renee Rickman, and her, it is called Princess Sweet Tooth. I thought that this character was really cute and I like the style um, and her hair. I wanted to practice sculpting hair and I thought ponytails would be really interesting to try and recreate. 
There's that. We'll go to the first picture. There we go. Uh, let's see. It also reminds me of something that could be 3D printed or even made into like an animated uh, character for a series or something. I feel like she has a lot of great personality. Um, does this feel like an entry level asset or something of greater value? I feel like this one came out the best out of all three of them. I feel like the face I actually sculpted a lot better and got really good form. Um, I mean, could I fix her up? Yes, of course. I feel like maybe if I learned how to do lace well for the bottom parts of her skirts that would make it look a lot better. Um, am I finished with this asset? No, because I do want to texture these so that they come out like the first character I did. It would help sell this character. I think whenever you have the eyes done, it really brings them to life. <laughs> um, how well do I feel this asset represented my skills? I feel like this showed a lot of progress in my art. I feel like the hair is a lot. I tried a different approach to the hair, modeling it instead of doing strands like this one. Uh, I think I also did try to do something different for her skirt, but it did not work out. I tried to use end cloth, but um, that's something I might go back and try and do just so I can get like a more realistic look to her skirt as well. I mean, there's a lot of things that I feel like I could work on still, but I think that this came out really good. Um, that was that's my last girl so I think what I could do to improve this and someone had commented in the last class that the end card I should have all of my information like all put together like in one spot so that they can see it and really like remember it I guess <laughs> well that's it thank you